Well, hello, hello everyone. This is Comrade Sirius, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode. And this is a prefab factory we planned last years. Well, in the last episode. And it's finally coming to some. coming to the finished state. It will require still some tons of steel, and more importantly, some tons of mechanical components, which is both things we do not manufacture and both things that are quite costly. On the other hand, this is a prefab storage and it needs to be f it needs to be finished. Not well, it will take some time. Our path pathing office from the city is assigned to some of these paths and as you can see we have few new high rises ready. They will eat a lot of prefabs, so that's one of the reasons we are building them. But also, yeah, they have uh, they have been assigned to this unfinished footpath, to the bridge, to, well, to the radio station. We are currently having few projects on our hands. First one is definitely the prefab factory. That probably should be done as the first. Should be done first and. If I'm looking at the construction office for people, yeah, they have only prefab factory assigned. So once they are done with it, let's assign them to the prefab storage as well, because that's a thing we can definitely manufacture. We won't be able to sell it, but it will still count, right? Because we are in two years, well, three years from now, we we need to be, we need to be making our own coal and prefabs we which is exportable goods we may not be able to manufacture it uh, to export it because prefabs do need cement and we are not we currently not doing cement although yeah there there is definitely an option to utilize some of these hills and maybe try to do try to work on it in the end because, as you can see, we are having new mines. They are coming into in the other game as well, so don't be wor don't be worried. But in gravel quarry, we will have a smaller we have we have a smaller processing plant. You can see this one is significantly smaller, but has no attachment to input. But it's much cheaper in terms of steel, and the output is alrightish. And we have also a bigger, much lar much larger gravel quarry. And yeah, as you can see, it shows percentages now, even when it's only hovered over. So that's a huge, that's a huge bonus. Like yeah, I cannot place it and you know terraform, but I am. It's something I'm able to. I would be able to play like you know using this area for another gravel processing and maybe a cement plant in this corner who knows I, d I definitely don't heat, heat plant stopped working I'm not worried about it much because it's already March and it's 15 15 degrees but I'm a little bit more worried about this ash ash dump as you can see it's only ashes but there's nothing working with it. Though we definitely should assign some. And I think it, this one is probably... Probably the correct one. Or not. This one, this one office would definitely be useful for... Bringing hazardous materials because that's, neat, that's a neat income. As you can see... Well, in last year, if you're looking at import, we have earned 165,000 just for importing hazardous waste, almost 2,000 tons, which neatly offset <laughs> this steel import. <coughs> like we're still in the minus, but not that much. And yeah, we export only gravel and meat, so yeah, definitely something. It's definitely something. But we, we'll keep it. We'll keep it for now, not for later, because once we start bringing trains with trash here, we will definitely need to get rid of any excess waste possible, and which then definitely this will be only used for burning hazardous waste 
from the Republic and not from else, not from elsewhere. Well, but we, we need workers, right? I've also made a footpath. I don't know if you have seen it or not, but we have we have this footpath that will go to the steel recycling plant because we have quite a lot of metal scrap here already, and the plant is finished. So maybe maybe we sh maybe I should connect it. Looks like looks like it. You definitely need need a path to, need path to it as well. It's buildable with machinery, so all right. Let's 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 give group group one in order to work on it. And I'm not sure about can they can they reach? Well, they they are not able to reach there now, but they will they will be able after finishing that underground corridor. And yeah, it's only this one, this small one, so it's okay. We need to be also watch it, watchful about our money because, as you can see, there are definitely sometimes more and more money that are that are taking our imports. So, well, nothing comes free, right? Nothing is free. We have a lot of cranes in in this office, and I'm wondering where are we going to pick workers. Rum. Because it should definitely be in range, but it is not now, and it will need some. some road for pe for workers to get there. The bad thing is that these conveyors are simply laying too low. So the only corridor, the only walkable corridor is this one. Maybe right next to yeah, right, right next to these stands, and just maybe connect it to, to the road. Yeah, because this is this is not a way I can I can come through. So either we are connecting o over those rails, which I don't think is I don't think is a good idea, or we will simply do. Something like this. Will would that be enough? We do not need many workers. Yeah, it would definitely be enough. It's 352 meters. Alright. Let's let's build it. Ow, no, not 4.3. 4.3 cancel construction mode. I want four. I want once. The main office because they will they will be able to finish it yes well no this one will definitely take some time but we have it it will notify me when it's finished so well okay dumper is already heading here when it's finished just tell me so I can assign you for two I can definitely send people to start building this underpass for the street underpass what we need is more workers and I have no idea if I can allow uh, a fort, maybe a fort to build more because well this this footpath will be finished soon but we need to start working on our radio and we need to start working on our on more of our houses our housing situation it's all right. No one, no one without his own flat, and we have multiple free houses. Why is this one empty? Oh, did, yeah, this is the new one. New one, okay. Yeah, they, they are definitely new. It's kind of afraid if they had, if they died or <laughs> what was happening there. Now we have simply two few people. Last year we have used all our 300 immigration points and we maybe start working on these as well. They cost 3 points, so 50 of them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50 of them will help us overall. 
It's 150 already. I'm not sure. I'm not saying it's great to spend money like this, but I made many mistakes. Especially with the trash setups and so on. So we need to we need to take care of it, we need to take a look into it. And yeah, they need to be able to process all this waste from the hotel. Tourists are satisfied it looks like. I definitely do not have 100% 100 workforce here. Because we have 0% unemployed, unemployed workers. And we are using them in a lot of places. Where do you want to take it? Oh, they started working on those prefabs. Oh. That's an interesting thing. We do not have prefabs anymore. And we need we will need to start construct we need to start construction of these pipes as well. But it's gonna be interesting because we are slowly running out of time and we will need to we will need to raise our loyalty in three years to survive the normal normalization criteria. And we cannot right now we cannot even build you know these stands. So ouch, ouchie. Okay, this one cannot. This monument cannot definitely stand a crane. So I'll just send P pass office to this one. So once they are done with everything, they are, they will go be going on low priority to this site. But first, they will finish everything else. Also, I would like to build maybe more of these stands. What they need? And they still need. Still need a crap. They still need prefabs, which is kind of sad. And I do not have free excavator. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm cutting too much. Okay. This one will help. Though, to be fair. This one won't help, won't help much, and I am up, I am about to connect to connect it with footpath. Anyway, so the house can uh, can reach it as well. It's just a secondary path, but I think it's nice nice to nice to have it. And this one this one will be connected up here because they need access. To those things if needed. Same one, same one with this, with here. 11 meters is, I think, the limit of being... Why am I doing this? Is the amount... Limit amount of being buildable by trucks? So it's good. We have just nearly met it. And yes, I need you here. Definitely, definitely not here. Path City. Get out. I don't want. I don't want you on these sites. And these red star monuments are taking quite a long time. That's for sure. With her, in recent times, I have seen quite interesting tests from, for example, Silent Shadow. He's now recently on YouTube as well as a Silent Snoo. So you feel free to check his channel. He has two videos there. He's just started, but he has a test of cranes, and it looks like, unlike road cranes, where when you simply have a level which you don't see right now, but if I would be a if I would be about to buy another we another crane, I can show you. It is a level. Like these basic cranes have speed level of 26, which means they can boost up to five, up to 26 people, and 
they can boost boost them for around 5.7 times that's why i'm improving adjusting those numbers on pipes and so on because basically 10 people with crane can do work of 50 day, 50 work days per shift or more what is interesting for me is that tower cranes they have the same leveling system but somehow and that's the important part somehow they are not bound to this restriction because crane with level 65 supplied with 80 workers will do more work unlike their road counterpart they will do more work than than 60 than 65 times 5.7 plus 15 free workers but it's up to up to you what to take from it i have no idea well the footpath is done is done almost and yeah it's, it's only this small part that cannot be done oh, okay let's give and this and the prefab factory is finished okay i will send here five workers we are not needing much someone is still to be supplied with sub, supplying with cement which is this 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 distribution office it's the imax so let's send it here and supply it with cement 30 percent yeah it's definitely it's 10 tons it's all right and if we are looking at it they can definitely work there even now so maybe just add prefabs as another walk-in source the heating plant is definitely most important there's nothing there's no dispute in it and it's looking i have forgotten to you to add yeah i have completely forgotten again to add any any sort of waste so let's so let's do it well they do not have any gravel in storage they do not have drinking water why they are not having any drinking water these, these ones have not none as well is it a problem well they can work without water and therefore without sewage they will just work on 50 percent effectiveness and i'm not sure i want to supply them with water right now because i think we have more important task this one is definitely part of high priority because we are running out of space well, not now, but we definitely will run out of space sooner or later. Though, this one is a bit more alarming, I would say. Which also means we will need to place some... some, some something there, there as well. But, okay, we will have the underpass, so maybe utilize it and plan with it in mind. Should be nearing completion of the research yeah the aluminum recycling is quite on its way the same of influence of radio broadcasting let's look to brandy wine because that is definitely a city we need to be working on as well sooner rather than later they have some materials even steel which feels nice but the main thing I'm not sure about is do I want to go for coal first? Okay, this one has a mechanism, please deliver asphalt there. <laughs> These ones don't have any dumper. Okay, why not? <laughs> no, he's going on its way. On its own. That's not a good idea. Okay. Oh. Our papers are done with everything. Mm 
Alright. And we are having our first, first free faps. That's a nice thing to that's a nice thing to have. Does that mean? And I'm absolutely serious. Does that mean that we can start well we can start using them? There's no there's no reason not to. This prefab storage is empty. This one is also empty, so we can we can delete it. And these guys then can go for prefabs. Shall I wait? I think I should. <laughs> I think I should wait. Is someone going? Is anyone going here? Like, please. Pretty please. I'm not sure if this is necessary, but I will definitely do it, do, do it so. How are these? It's construction materials everywhere and mixed waste. They did, they're taking definite, they're loading definitely faster than from re regular dump, which is a reason why dump on this farm, as you can see it. Uh, like that's, that's an awful thing. At least no one is coming, no one, no one is bringing their waste anymore, but Fucking hell, that takes a long time. And we have bio waste here, so well, they are able to bring it. Is this one bringing bio waste? Yeah, yeah, he is. Hardly no technical services. Well, that's nice. Our harvest is safe. <laughs> There's a lot of workers. There's a lot of meat. We're basic, basically just living off of meat export and gravel and tourism. That's a really important part of it. I'm almost thinking that we would be able to sustain our, our own food production, but maybe not now. This is the fuel delivery. Well, we do not have much more. Much more task ready. Machinery replacement. All right. How is it looking? Well, they have delivered everything. This one is definitely high priority, though. Okay, prefabs storage. Limit amount prefabs 100%. Where are prefabs? This one. Any number. And that's it. I will definitely assign it as a source for prefabs before I forget. Will someone go? Yeah, these are going. Because they are able to pull from that storage, through that storage, even from, even from this building. Okay, even from the main prefab factory. At least it looks like it. I was like, where are, the pre where are those prefabs? <laughs> they were not showing. But, well, they are here. Oh. That's it. We're missing electronics. It's not a problem. Not a problem at all. And I'm thinking that now when we have when we have these, you can as well pick prefabs from this storage. Basically anytime you want, or maybe I don't know, two one percent is enough. Maybe one percent and take it. Prefabs, yeah. You can fill it. Tell me what are those two? They, oh, they, okay. This is IMAX. This is IMAX Brandywine. Oh, okay. Which brings me to another topic. We should be able to plan.
there, there is a okay there is an excavator here and those rest as well okay i've demolished road that was coming through here but we will need it sooner or later so i will sort of add here as well well maybe again that's the right word i will not asphalt it nor nor gravel probably right now but it would be nice to have it i have no idea how far i can take it right now so i'll just do some basic some basic roadworks and we'll see how far we can go Maybe even more. Well, let's start it. Let's raise the terrain a bit more. More than is my liking, but well, I can live with it. Yeah, and we cannot go further. Okay, so let's let's go with this one. This is nice. Quite a long stretch, to be honest. This one definitely need no terraforming at all. Okay, so this is our this is our endpoint. And if I, if I, if I would go about graveling it, I might as well turn it into one. Yeah, one big, one big stretch if needed, but not now. Because there's definitely not enough gravel in these storages. So, that is alright. But what, uh, what do we want? We would need a permanent supply storage for Brandywine. And that's something we can definitely plan in those last minutes. So, let's start with it. Where to put it? We can place it either here or in this place. Now there are two main things going for it. Do we want to be want it to be supplied with train in the future? Which would play for area up here. Or... Or basically we don't care. That's that's a good question, right? These are main tracks coming to the city. We also have a secondary track up here, so we can definitely, after some time, bring rails, like smaller supply rails around here. I'm now going for this area because the, it will be relatively small. It will be in walkable distance from the city. And it will have everything we need. So, what do we need there? First, we need a we need a vehicle repair station. I don't know if it's small, larger. Maybe for this area it could be quite big. We could utilize the bigger one, or we can just build bigger afterwards. I don't care. This is a hospital. Okay, it can have hospital in range. I don't think it's a bad idea. Where it is? Road? Maintenance? Yeah. Okay, we're we're going with it. Maybe turn it around so the entrance is is in nicer location. Yeah, this is the only thing that needs access of work, access of paths. So 
as soon as I'm able to wind this through, which I'm definitely not. <laughs> it's definitely looking like I am not. So, do I reconsider? Maybe. Well, they can definitely go around hospital. What is there? Oh, there are some... There are some heating pipes. No, oh, this looks... This looks a little strange, but hey. Yeah, you can even have the... You can even have a, your little curve. That's all right. As soon as... As long as we are able to... Yeah. They have a, they have road path. This is vehicle repair station. What it needs is a big warehouse, and we will give it it. I'm going with the biggest one possible, not because I'm I want to waste a lot of brakes and so on, but this one will also serve as a big pickup station for everyone in the city. For distribution offices and so on. I don't know how to place it. Or well, maybe this one is not not the worst idea, or probably not the best either. But it would be easier to get constructed. Okay, well, let's start outlines. Would it be possible to make yeah, too steep of an incline? Get lost. Yeah, now it would work. All right. This is a road, so okay, keep the road. That's a covered warehouse. Now, road cargo station. Because that's definitely something we want to use with it. Probably turn it. Okay, maybe a little different way. An open storage for all of them. Okay, I can... I can even turn it this way. That's not a bad idea. Those connections are quite long. Which is not inherently a bad bad idea. But it's definitely in the way now. But it won't be in the future. Okay, we do not need way. <laughs> we do not need a way there. What we need is a way here, and we have it. And now there are road connections everywhere. And I don't like that it's going around cool oh what it, what was that but I think I can I can get along with it we will have a way to supply all of this with our with our vehicles and yes if we will decide or we would decide to supply this via train I think we, we would be able to do it. Because if I raise the terrain a, a little bit, I can even place a cargo train station. Yeah. 
and let's range unload here. The question is if I'm able to bring it up there, but that's that's a topic for a different day. So well, let's go. What is it? Five? Yeah, number five. Let's build those ways. And footpaths, and we will be ready for another episode. Thank you all for watching. See you later. Hopefully soon. And have a nice day.